What was most striking about Steve to me was he's very, very bright. I mean, very bright. Same name as the category. <sighs> Rubber wedding and marching band. Yeah, wow, that was good. You know, he went to law school. I don't think he's ever practiced law. He can do whatever he wants. I always thought he would be the governor of Utah. While I was with him at BYU, we would go into Georgia. Steve threw six interceptions that day. Afterwards, I remember talking to him and saying, hey, man, we gotta fix this or I'm gonna be, you know, I've got little kids and you gotta take care of me here. And then he led the nation in total offense and he'd have these remarkable games running and passing. And I thought, in my opinion, could have won the Heisman Trophy. In 1987, Steve Young and Mike Holmgren were reunited in San Francisco where Young faced yet another challenge, being second on the depth chart behind Joe Montana. There's a side of him, like a lot of really bright guys, that he really thinks he knows how to do it better than his coach does. But he's smart enough to know this is the way I have to do it to be successful. To Steve's credit, when it came his time to play, he was ready. The greatest play I ever saw him make, or, and one of the great offensive plays I've ever seen in my life, was a run against the Vikings. The Vikings are winning the game with very little time left on the clock. Joe was hurt, Steve was playing, and we call a little three-step drop. Young, in trouble, he's gonna be sacked, no, gets away. He runs, gets away again, goes to the 40. Young is in trouble, and he got away somehow. Gets away again, to the 35, cuts back at the 30. Young might score, to the 20, the 50, the 10, he died, touchdown 49ers. He finally makes a 65-yard touchdown run, and we win the game. And during the course of the run, I stand up and I am punching the plexiglass window and I break my hand. I'm just going, run, run. To be great as Steve became, Hall of Fame and all that stuff, he had to discipline himself as a thrower. I can't rely on using my legs to get out of this all the time. And with Steve, you know, you coach him, but he kind of figured these things out for himself. You gotta be able to put plays together without tripping, without throwing an interception, all right? Let's put it together. Now he throws for the end zone, and he's got Owens, and he catches the ball! Young learned to beat teams with his legs and his arm. His career passer rating of 96.8 is the highest of any quarterback in NFL history. You know, one of my favorite moments in football is you let the ball go. You get hit immediately, and the bottom is pile. And the only way you can tell what's going on because your face is in the mud is to look and kind of watch the fans. You know that it's completed, and then the cheer gets louder. Like he's gone in for a touchdown. At that moment, it's arts at its greatest form uh, because that's kind of football. You kind of see it, you kind of have an idea, you kind of practice it, and then you just let it go. I like Sid Gilman used to tell him, "Oh, coach." There's no rubber band on that ball. So just let it go and hope for the best. You know, he killed me. Uh, my last grand coaching game in Green Bay. If you want to take one crack, maybe he's the guy you should go for. Young almost falls down, throws to the end zone. Young played his best on the game's biggest stage, setting a record for the most touchdown passes in a single Super Bowl, with six in 1994. When he hit these points in his career, 
where it wasn't what he thought it should be. He did something about it. Whether you're talking about the day six interception thing at BYU or his having to sit on the bench a little bit in San Francisco. In all those instances, he decided, this isn't what I wanted, I want this, and he went and got it. So when he's holding that Super Bowl trophy, the elation, just the fantastic feeling you get from reaching the top of the mountain, you could see it. It's the greatest feeling in the world, is it not? 39 days! Hey, I share this with every one of you guys. Everyone in this room made a commitment, and we're there, and no one can ever, ever take it away from us, ever!